In this video, we will learn all about the median. The median is one of the measures of central tendency for data, which means it gives you a general sense for what the data is like. The median tells you what number in the data is exactly in the middle. So if you were to list all of the data from smallest to largest and figure out which of those numbers in the data which is exactly in the middle, that would be the median. So what this means is if you know the median, then you know that half of the data will be above the median and half is below. So it tells you, again, the number that's in the middle. So let's look at an example of actually how you figure out the median for some data. Here are 11 test scores from a class. And what if we wanted to find the median test score? That would mean we have to find which of these test scores is exactly in the middle. So notice that these test scores are already listed in order from smallest to largest. If they weren't, then the first thing you'd want to do was reorder them into smallest to largest. That will make it easier. The next thing that you want to do is figure out how many numbers we have. And there are 11 different numbers here. So that means the number that's exactly in the middle will be the 11 plus 1 over 2 or 6th number. So we can count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that means 86 is the median. Notice what we have here is five numbers that are below the median and exactly five numbers that are above. So that's why this number is the median. So that tells us that half of the class got above the 86, half got below the 86. But keep in mind that it doesn't really tell you how far spread out the data is. You could have had really no, low numbers down here, and there would be no way to tell just by knowing the median of 86. This is why it's often helpful to have more information than just the median about data. If you know the median and the mean and some other information, that can be really helpful. Now we'll look at a case where you have an even number of numbers to figure out how to find the median in that case. Here are eight different temperatures, and in this case, the temperatures are not in order from smallest to biggest. So the first thing that we need to do is reorder these from smallest to biggest. That will just make it a lot easier. So you first should look for the smallest number, which is 42. We can write that again. Then look for the next smallest number, which is 44. And continue on like this until you have all eight numbers in order from smallest to largest. Now that we have all eight numbers, we can figure out the median. Because there are eight temperatures and eight is an even number, we have to do something a little bit different this time to find the median. You basically want to find the two middle numbers and find the average of them. So since there are eight numbers, we can figure out 8 plus 1 over 2, which is 4.5, and we want to find the number below that and above that position. So in other words, the fourth number and the fifth number, which would be 48 is the fourth number and 50 is the fifth number. Notice that with these two highlighted, we have three numbers above them and three numbers below them. So the median is actually the mean or the average of these two numbers. So to find the median, we would just take 48 plus 50 and divide by 2. Or you can just think about what number is exactly in the middle of 48 and 50. Either way, you get your answer of 49. So that's what you have to do if there is an even number of numbers. You look for the two middle numbers and average them, and then you'll get your median.